Hello and welcome. Here's another series we will like to introduce. Just like you've accepted our other series, we hope you find this encouraging and inspiring. This series presents a relatable true story that showcases exceptional and legendary dividend growth investors. It is supposed to be like a light read or an easy listen that will in turn encourage, inspire and reassure you that your thesis and strategy of dividend growth investing is the best and right thing for your investments, your future, and retirement. Today we bring you a story of a special man. A story that we all should emulate. A story that we should all find inspiring. This is a story of a janitor who was secretly one of the richest dividend investors of our generation. This man amassed a dividend portfolio worth $8 million at the time of his death. That special man is named Mr. Ronald Reed. Mr. Reed is a peculiar man whose life is surely worth a documentary. He's an unsung hero in form of a dividend growth investor, someone who truly lived below their means, and a true philanthropist and a noble janitor. Mr. Ronald Reed, also known as the $8 million janitor, was born on October 23, 1921. He wasn't born with a silver spoon. He was born into a hard-working family. They owned a farm upon which their tiny house was situated. Mr. Reed loved school which was evident by his daily four miles walk to get to school. In 1940, at the age of 19, Mr. Reed proudly became the first person in his family to graduate high school earning a high school diploma. He later enlisted in our great United States Army and served honorably by being deployed to North Africa, Italy, and Pacific Ocean Theater. He was honorably discharged from service in 1945. It was at this time that Mr. Ronald Reed moved back home to Brattleboro, Vermont to continue with the next phase of his life. When Mr. Reed got back to his hometown, he quickly took up a job as a gas station attendant and mechanic at a local gas station. During his work at the gas station is where he met his wife. They will eventually buy a modest house for $12,000. Married, yes, but do you know Mr. Ronald and his wife didn't have any children between them? He loved his stepchildren as his very own, sending them to school with his own money. Mr. Reed was a hard worker and didn't want to stay around idle at the age of 58. So, he took up some hobbies which included wood chopping, stamp collecting, and coin collecting. Mr. Reed continued working at the gas station for 34 years before quitting. Mr. Reed lived a modest life driving a Toyota Yaris, which is a clear way to live not only under the radar, but under and below one's means. Mr. Reed got a job as a janitor at the local J.C. Penney where he worked for another 17 full years. Not only was he a dedicated and dependable worker, he was building something legendarily spectacular and life-changing in secret. He was building a legacy in form of an investment portfolio filled with dividend stocks. This dividend growth portfolio made him a secret millionaire. He kept his wealth a secret to everyone, including his children. No one, including his friends, had any idea what he was building in secret or how much he was worth. Do you know that Mr. Reed never went to college? He didn't, he learned everything about wealth building from constantly reading the Wall Street journals, barons and other financial publications that were available to him and everyone at a local library. Just like Warren Buffett, Mr. Reed he ate the same breakfast almost every morning, an English muffin, a cup of coffee and peanut butter. But instead of getting his meal from McDonald's like Warren Buffett always does, he got his own savory breakfast at the small cafeteria in the local Memorial Hospital. Picture this, an old rich man, looking frugal and almost homeless, with thousands in dividend paychecks coming in every month. He lived a frugal life, sometimes too frugal which made those close to him sometimes want to help him out financially. Mr. Ronald looked so not put together that some of his co-worker thought he was in distress financially and offered to help him out with money, but he always humbly and respectively declines. A few years later, the coffee shop in the local hospital closed down and Mr. Reed had to find another spot to have his morning breakfast. That was when he found Friendly's. One of the managers at local hospital was a regular at Friendly's, and after he and Mr. Reed got talking, he got a taste of Mr. Reed's finance outlook. He would then advise Mr. Reed to check out the nearby local library. It was at this library that Mr. Reed discovered the popular Wall Street Journal newspaper. 
Even though he had been investing in stocks investing since days at the gas station, reading the Wall Street Journal and other investment books from this newly found library, supercharged, intensified, guided and affirmed his investment journey and stock picking knowledge. He learned much more about dividend and how to pick quality blue chip stocks. Remember history has it that he had been investing with the funds he made from his gas station job he started buying into quality stocks that paid dividend. In a matter of time, Mr. Reed's safe was filled with stock certificates. When he died, according to his attorney, Lori Rowell, she said, most of his investment was found in a safe deposit box. $6.8 million worth of investment found in a safety deposit box. According to her phone call with CNBC, Lori Rowell said, Mr. Red had high-quality stocks such as AT&T, Bank of America, CBS, Deere, G, and General Motors. Mr. Reed only invested in what he knew and what paid dividends. Dividends, she said, was very important to him. So what was Mr. Reed's holding like? Mr. Reed invested in 95 different companies across different sectors. Some of his holdings are Wells Fargo and Company $510,900. Procter & Gamble $364,008. Colgate Palmolive $252,104. American Express $199,034. J.M. Smucker $189,722. Johnson & Johnson $183,881. VF Corp $152,208. McCormick $145,055. Raytheon $142,970. United Technologies $140,880. Mr. Ronald Reed died on June 2, 2014, at the age of 92. When he died, he had a 5 inches thick stack of stock certification in a safe deposit box. These stock holdings in real estate was estimated at $8 million. His story went viral when he made his most noticeable philanthropic move yet, leaving and donating $1.2 million to Brook Memorial Library and also donated $4.8 million to a memorial hospital. So, what are the lessons we all can take away from the legendary move of this great man named Mr. Ronald Reed? How did Mr. Ronald Reed do it and what lesson can we learn from this? 1. Mr. Reed, just like Warren Buffett, only invested in only business he understood. Our time on this earth is finite. Not infinite. 2. Buy and hold would make you a millionaire. Don't be a day trader. Like Mr. Reed he understood one should buy and hold only and stay away from fees and harness the power and advantage of deferred taxes. 3. Being frugal. Keeping expenses under control. Do you know that Mr. Reed packed his car far away from his job just so he could save money on the parking meter? Number 4. He only had interest in business that pays dividend so that he could take that money and reinvest it in stocks. 5. Mistake are unavoidable. As a matter of fact, there was one failure. Do you know Mr. Reed invested in the Lehman Brothers company that was wiped out in 2008 to 2009? 6. Invest for long term. Sticking to your investment thesis. Mr. Reed invested for 65 long years. 7. The power of dividend investing is real. Do you know that Mr. Reed must have been pulling in about $20,000 a month in dividend assuming a 3% dividend yield before taxes on top of the roughly $12 an hour job he held? From Wealth Listicles, we say thank you Mr. Reed. And on any day we when we think about Mr. Reed's remarkable life, legacy and profession, we don't say Mr. Reed was a janitor or a gas station attendant. We say the great Mr. Ronald Reed was a true philanthropist and more importantly, a true dividend growth investor. That's it for this video guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when we post another interesting finance video. Until next time.